Hello, welcome to morning prayer on Wednesday the 8th of July 2020. Uh, my name's John, I'm the vicar of St Luke's Eccles Hill. Uh, for this service you'll need a Bible of your own so that you can follow the Bible readings and read them for yourself because they're too long to fit into the service uh, and besides that the whole point is that each of us should have the leisure to spend speaking to God ourselves and of course you can't do that if I'm hustling you. Uh, and you'll also need the video remote uh, if you're watching on video so that you can pause the video uh, while you pray and while you read the Bible reading. Let's turn to God in prayer, ask him into our hearts and our lips. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. On Wednesdays, the opening canticle is Psalm 8. Uh, it's a great song of creation, so let's sing the hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself.
As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today uh, is Psalm 119, verses 105 to 128. That's three sections in the middle, uh, beginning with three Hebrew letters, uh, N, and then the next two, which I'm not said sure in the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, I haven't got a, a metrical version of that, so please pause the video and ponder God's word in your heart as you look at it. And the Old Testament reading is the next part of the story of Samson. It's in Judges chapter 15 verse 1 through to chapter 16 verse 3. Please pause the video and read that as well. Uh, the book of Judges, I think, was written to remind us that although God may do great things, uh, we need some structure in order uh, to be able to appreciate his rule in our country and our lives. Uh, and uh, it's suitably followed by this canticle from Isaiah chapter 55, Seek out the Lord while he may be found. Here's a sung version of that. While he may be found, call on him now while he is still near. Let the proud hearted not stand their ground, but turn around and seek him with fear. Turn to the Lord, repent and believe, he will show mercy, kindness and grace. For beyond human minds can conceive, we can receive, see him face to face. For as the heavens are high above us, so are his ways much higher than ours. He is the life who brings us to birth, gives us our worth, and lends us his powers. As rain and snow come down from the sky, watering the earth and bringing forth growth, so will God's word achieve and supply all he desired in sending it forth. You will find joy, be led forth in peace, music and song will rise from all lands. Trees of the field will signal release, raising their leaves and clapping their hands. Glory to God, the Father of all, glory to God, the Son from above. Glory to God, the Spirit whose call rescues the falling, saves them by love. Today's New Testament reading is in Luke chapter 18, beginning at verse 15 and reading through to verse 30. But you know, this business of dividing the, the, the Bible into verses uh, is uh, not part of the original text. Uh, and I wonder myself if Luke meant the first part, the part about little children, to follow directly on from uh, the parable about the two people uh, who went up to the temple to pray. Because in a way... Neither of them had the right attitude to God, did they? Uh, the first uh, took pride in himself. The second beat on his breast uh, and lamented himself being a sinner. And although he was justified, he didn't feel justified when he went home. Uh, and it's only the children who show the right answer uh, that they receive what God has promised to give without kind of strings or feeling that they need to deserve it. And I think Luke meant that uh, to be the antidote to both the first two. Anyway, you read it yourself and you see what you think about it. And the traditional way of responding to the Gospel reading, uh, sorry, the New Testament reading, uh, is Benedictus. So here's a sung version of that. Israel, who saves his people, sets them free, 
And so let's pray. Let's ask God into our own lives. Ask him that his word may make a difference in our hearts and that we may be better equipped by him to serve him in the world. Father, we thank you for the psalm which points us to the place of your word. And we ask that each of us in our pilgrimage with you would learn to get deeper into your word so that we too may find its guidance and its direction on our lives. We give you our praise that the creation sings your praises, and we pray that you would similarly move us to be thankful and hopeful people as we travel with you in faith. We pray that you would raise up people to sort out the condition of our nations, but we ask that you would help us to learn the lessons of history and to be wise in the face of future opportunities. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you would help us in our walk with you daily uh, in following the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. For all these things we pray in the lovely name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video uh, and use the time to pray for the things on your heart. The Collect for the Fourth Week After Trinity. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide we may so pass through the things of time that we don't lose our hope on the things of eternity. Grant this for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so may the peace of God which passes understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.